We're at Oak Mountain State Park on the Yellow Red Connector Trail. And this goes right by a beautiful stand of mature American beech, Vegas grandifolia, in uh, the same family as the oaks. And this is a beautiful example and typical of the habitat where you'll find American beech right along a running water course, in this case a small stream. Uh, you won't find them in a swampy situation, but you'll find them where there's water and where the water is moving. So, um, very characteristic smooth bark, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about that uh, in a minute. But um, I would guess the age of this tree is about 80 to 100 years old. Not sure, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was 100. Um, very nice uh, stand here and very important tree for nut production for wildlife. Now, all trees have to have their bark expand because they're growing and the uh, bark must split in a characteristic pattern so the tree can grow without damaging the bark. In this case, the bark more or less stretches and doesn't provide the fissures or the large fissures that you see in most trees, they're very tiny fissures. And then the bark is uh, expanding to um, grow out. And the, the um, branch scars where a branch came off and was circular to begin with has stretched out into an oval pattern. This good one right here um, showing the uh, oval pattern as the circle spreads with the bark growth, it turns into an oval pattern. The surface of the bark is a very nice uh, place for lichens to become established. So you'll see the, uh, the blue-green color of the blue-green algae in the lichens. Lichen is a combination of fungus and algae, in this case a blue-green algae. And um, they colonize the surface of beach, make characteristic patterns of, uh, of, of uh, lichen. Also, mosses colonize the surface, uh, mingling with the lichens. So you have this nice green uh, color um, for these mosses growing on the bark. And even when they're becoming established, uh, note the small trees on the other side of the bank. These American beech are already holding the bank in place, stabilizing the soil, just like this big one uh, is doing. So they'll continue growing there and uh, probably be there for, for quite some time. About 50 feet behind me is a large American beech leaning into the creek and the root spans from one bank to the other bank, creating a little dam uh, with a waterfall on it. This creates a microhabitat for aquatic and terrestrial uh, creatures that live in and around the, uh, the root. Also, the root is sprouting on the other side of the uh, stream, creating new stems that will develop into uh, new trunks for the beach. And these are stabilizing both sides of the bank. So we have one tree spanning uh, the creek that stabilizes both sides of the bank. There are two characteristics of uh, the twigs and buds and leaves that make this unmistakably American beech. First is the uh, long pointed bud, about an inch long, and right next to it is last year's leaf that is still hanging on. We call this uh, term for, for this is marcescent, meaning the leaf stays on the twig throughout the winter, and then when this new bud begins to open, uh, the old leaf falls off. So uh, marcescent leaves, pointed buds, unmistakably American beech. So now in the winter time, the leaves are a nice tan, uh, light brown color. In the spring, not too far from now, not too long from now, they will develop a beautiful light green color that deepens throughout the summer. Then in the fall, around October, they'll turn a beautiful yellow, golden uh, color that then will turn brown and become the, um, the, the winter leaves, much like they are now. 
So a beautiful example of an American beach forest along a stream in Oak Mountain State Park.